guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well, staying home, staying safe. Uh, more power to all of us. Uh, let's hope we will get out of this situation very soon. But let's just think positive thoughts and think that everything will be okay. Uh, if not right now, in probably a few months. <laughs> so today's video is going to be very relaxed, uh, laid back video. Uh, I'm just going to do my makeup. Uh, it's more like a get ready with me. Now that I'm going out anywhere, uh, I have a video planned. After this, I'm going to film review of like, you know, few of the cream blushes that I tried from a drugstore. So I anyways have to put on makeup for that video. So I thought, uh, you know, I could film that, like show you guys like some of my favorite products as I apply them and also talk with you guys. Uh, because I do have an exciting news to share with you all. Uh, <laughs> now that I wanted to share before, I don't know, I never saw the correct time. First it was too soon and then the corona happened and you know, things got a bit busy. So I finally wanted to let you guys in that right now I am 30 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so as of today, I am 30 weeks pregnant and this is how my bump uh, looks like. I think it started to make a really big difference, like the baby really started to pop out. I think starting 24th week. Before that, I was showing a little bit, uh, starting 4th month, but not as this much. I feel like it kind of exploded uh, starting like 24th week. So I will get into all of that, but first I want to get started on applying the makeup. Uh, first of all, I start off with my eyes. I'm going to use uh, my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. So the very first time that I found out that I was pregnant, is I think 20 like October last year so I was a couple of days late uh, sometimes my periods can be a little bit irregular like maybe they would be like two to three days late nothing major but that time I had a feeling like you know I was looking at myself in the mirror and my body looked a little bit different I felt like I was looking a little bit bloated first I thought you know it's periods time I usually get some bloating uh, when I'm on my periods so I thought it could be that and it was very out of ordinary because I was working out a lot like I uh, always do. I was actually lifting heavier than I normally do. So it, I, I just didn't understand like why I was looking a little bit bloated. So I thought, you know, let's take the pregnancy test. But so I do that all the time. Like when my period is late, I take pregnancy test, but it's never positive. But this time I saw like a faint line and I started Googling is the faint line still means that you're pregnant. And then it said, yeah, something about the, what hormone is it? Is it that HCF hormone? Yeah, it just started to develop in your blood level. So that's why the line is going to be really faint, but you are pregnant. I was so shocked. I was not expecting that. So I immediately like pinged my husband, asked him like where he was. And he was at a volleyball tournament. <laughs> so that was Friday night. So he usually uh, goes to play volleyball. And I like asked him to come home early. And I think he, he, when I usually never do when he's playing volleyball, I let him uh, have his time. I never asked him to rush home. But that day when I did, he obviously knew <laughs> that it was something like this. And he got home like extra pregnancy test just to be sure. We took the test and again, we saw the faint line. <laughs> so like, I think at first uh, I was shocked. But deep down, I was hoping that it's not a false positive. Because I don't know, just the thought of kid excited me so much. My husband was shocked as well, so he was not letting out like how he was feeling exactly, but I, I but I knew he would be happy. So, and then we like thought over it about the weekend. We didn't even tell my mother or uh, sister yet because you know we just wanted to digest the news ourselves. And the next day again, we took uh, like more pregnancy tests. I think we took about nine pregnancy tests in total just to make sure that I was actually pregnant. <laughs> And then we told our sister first, but then reality started to kick in and I was like, I was really nervous after that. I was like, oh my God, it's not, it's, you're going to be responsible for a whole new life. And I don't know anything about parenting. So I was really scared and nervous at the same time. And uh, and now I cannot wait for the baby to come out. 10 more weeks and he'll be here. Oh, by the way, we know the gender, it's a boy. Uh, we have like three to four names in our mind. We haven't decided on one particular name yet. I feel like the most difficult part of this whole pregnancy is choosing a name for the baby. If, if I like one name, then my husband wouldn't like it. If he likes one name, then I wouldn't like it. And it's like, it's, 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 it's very hard to decide. So that's where I'm right now. That's like my big news that I want to uh, share with you guys. Uh, I, I probably you could tell I, I look a little bit chubbier than I usually do. Um, yeah, my bump is showing up, it's 30 weeks obviously, 
To be honest, uh, my pregnancy has been really easy. Uh, first, even the first three months, I didn't have like any kind of morning sickness. I would have some mood swings because, you know, obviously, it's so much starts to change. Like your body changes and the clothes that you were able to fit in like a month ago now because of the bloating, like I was not fitting into them anymore. Uh, not just that, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I would have mood swings, but most of the time it was actually a very... Plus in pregnancy, I didn't have any nausea or anything like that. But the first three months, I used to get really hungry even in the night times. So let's say my sleep broke at uh, 4 o'clock, I'd be hungry and then I, would, I wouldn't I would find anything to eat at home. So that was like really crazy. But I must say much better than people who cannot keep food down. Um, I heard that some people have severe nausea. But in that case, uh, I haven't had any nausea or anything like that so far. But one thing I will say though is that your sense of smell increases a lot. Uh, I was never sensitive to scents. But uh, right now, like I can smell everything. And I think that's the only few symptoms that I have. And also increased heartbeat. I have been <sighs> all the time. Like I obviously edit all, all of that part out. But even when I'm talking, if I'm like continuously talking for like one to two minutes, I start breathing really fast. <laughs> That's one more symptom that I've had. Yeah, so I'm pregnant and I'll have a newborn with me in about 10 to 12 weeks. I'm, I'm really excited but at the same time nervous as hell because of the times that we are in. Actually my mom is uh, supposed to like come and help me with the baby in the at least like you know the first few months. She's retired, she lives in India but we were gonna have her fly here to help us out. Honestly, I'm really grateful for my mother that she was going to even do that for us. Moms are the best. Like, they take care of us, then they take care of our kids. Not that they have to, but they still do. That's like a mother's love. Uh, she did the same for my sister when she had the baby. Uh, now she was going to come here and help me as well. She's retired. I think I already told you guys. But right now, because of the situations out there, uh, she can't fly here. So I don't know. If things are going to settle down in July, international travel will begin. But even if not, uh, that's okay. Like, you know, uh, I would love to have her, but it is what it is. Like, we have to be with it and stay positive, stay strong. Just hope for the best and prepare for the worst. That's that's the only, you know, thing that kind of calms me down. Like, because whenever I think about bringing the newborn home all by ourselves, my sister obviously is going to come help us. That's one best thing about family and family is the most important thing, especially you will realize that <laughs> in times like these. Uh, but it would have been really nice to have my mother as well. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. But thinking about it, our lives are going to change forever. It's not just the two of us anymore. There's going to be always three of us. And I'm excited. I'm really excited for the baby to see how he looks, uh, you know, just to have that attachment with him just to have that bonding with him I'm really excited uh, yeah I feel like I'm only doing the talking I'm not applying my makeup uh, god I need to speed up through this I'm definitely nervous I'm really scared to go to the hospital like I've had appointments even after the corona shutdown has begun it looked like you know they were taking the precautions my husband was not allowed in for any of my appointments but that's okay that's totally understandable that's how it should be the lesser the people you bring in you know, the lesser the possibility of spreading the virus. So I have I have had, you know, a couple of appointments. The next one, the next appointment that I have in 32nd week is actually a telephonic appointment. But again, for 36th week, uh, I need to go in to see my doctor. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous given the whole corona situation, but I'm just trying not to think negatively about it and be nervous because it's not going to give me anything. If anything, it's just going to bring me down. So I'm just trying to think positively just concentrate on makeup, obviously work, and then also cooking. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to look at the positive side of all of this. I'm getting to stay home with my husband. Um, and obviously, we'll be working. But still, I get to see him a lot more than if we were to go to offices. Because I was told once the baby comes, you won't have that much time, uh, you know, to spend with your husband. Uh, so, yeah, that's one positive thing. Uh, because, like I said, I'm just trying to think, look at things positively. And staying home is also useful because... First thing, I haven't bought any maternity clothes except the one that I'm wearing right now and I got like one more gown, uh, that's it. Those are all the maternity clothes that I got. I'm staying home, I'm just wearing my husband clothes because they fit me now, all of my, none of my clothes fit me. I feel like doing makeup 
and then talking about something else is really difficult. Like when I, I'm doing my makeup, I usually talk about my makeup, so it goes with the flow. Like you know, as I'm blending out the eyeshadow, I can talk about the eyeshadow. But as I'm blending out the eyeshadow, it's really hard to talk about the baby stuff. I don't know how people do it, but this is really not so easy for me. I really need to clean my brushes. Let me know, did you feel the same way when you were having the baby or like if you were currently pregnant like I am, what are your thoughts given the corona situation out there? Let me know, we can connect, uh, probably help each other, talk to each other because I am really nervous. Uh, like babies are so tiny when they come out. I don't know how to handle them. Like when my sister's kid was really young, I used to change his diapers all the time. But it's been three years now, I don't remember how I did it. I don't know, like when it comes to your own baby, you will be extra nervous and extra cautious, like thinking, oh my god, you might hurt him. So let me know if you are in a similar situation as I am and how you're dealing with it. Sometimes I do get really nervous, but I try not to let that bring me down. I try to stay positive, think positively. And I try to distract myself with makeup, with, you know, watching any good TV show that I like or cooking and uh, it's also helping and my husband has been a great support uh, so I'm really thankful for him I'm thankful that you know uh, with the kid on the way we can still do our job we can work from home I am like very thankful uh, despite of what's going on uh, in the world right now but if you are nervous for some reason if you need someone to talk to like please feel free to DM me I will leave my Instagram handle down below but if you're in a similar situation like I am, just don't think you're alone. Uh, we will get through this. We have to, right? Keep getting a lot of questions like uh, my hair is looking healthier than before. But honestly, I'm not doing anything different. I'm just taking those prenatal vitamins, uh, the one that you get from Costco. And they're making a lot of difference in the growth of my hair. I can actually see that it's growing faster than it uh, normally would. So I think those prenatal vitamins are helping me. Uh, so yeah, that's the only thing that's different, uh, that has been different in my diet. So if you have had kids, what do you think are baby essentials, at least, you know, uh, essentials for a newborn? Let me know in the comments down below. I have a few items added in the registry. Obviously, my sister helps me with that because she has experience. Uh, but let me know, like, what do you think are the baby essentials that I should have which are gonna help me a lot once the baby comes out, like for the baby and for also myself. So if you're in a similar situation like I am, have you done your baby shopping? Have you set up like a nursery for the baby? And when's your due date? Mine is July 6th by the way, so yeah, I have like two more months. What are your feelings about, you know, a whole new life coming into your life? Like, are you nervous? I'm afraid, I'm like really nervous, but I'm trying not to get too much into the future because that's just going to make me nervous even more. I'm just going to, you know, concentrate on today, get through today and hope everything will fall in place. I feel like I really suck at these chit-chat, get ready with me videos. I'm like either chit-chatting or applying makeup. I cannot do both at the same time. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> Now, uh, for concealer, I'm using my Too Faced uh, Born This Way Concealer. So this is in the shade Sign. I'm mainly using this to conceal the darkness. People say that, you know, pregnancy is going to give you glowy skin and all of that. And I don't know, know if I've seen the glowy part. But my skin went through ups and downs, definitely. Uh, I don't know if it's because, you know, the hormones or just the skincare or makeup that I'm using. Some days, like at least in the beginning of my pregnancy, like the three to fifth months, it has, my skin was not that great. But people used to tell me, oh, you have that pregnancy glow and all that, but I could hardly see it. <laughs> and I cannot obviously use my retinol. I was using the ordinary uh, active retinoid, which I really liked. My skin was responding great to it, but I obviously stopped using it once I became pregnant. And I'm not using any like you know harsh chemical exfoliants and all of that. Only exfoliant that I'm using right now is the glycolic acid toner. So apparently glycolic acids and lactic acids are safe to use, whereas uh, BHS salicylic acid is not very safe. And also retinols people usually ask you to uh, avoid it. So what's your experience when you were pregnant or if you're pregnant right now? You know, has your skin got glowier or it has gotten worse? I heard like mixed things. Few people have like major acne when they're pregnant. Few people 
actually see a good difference in their skin. I think every person, every pregnancy is different. For me, I want to say the first few months it was okay, like how it normally would. If I like keep trying new makeup, I would obviously get the acne. Uh, but I don't know if pregnancy hormones has affected a lot. Because for some reason, uh, since teenage, I have never had anything hormonal show up on my face. Like I've never had hormonal acne. I started getting adult acne after, you know, I started doing uh, makeup. Sometimes, you know, a product would have a perfume in it. Uh, you know, it would clog my pores and irritate my skin. That's when I started to get the acne. But right now, I'm just being thoughtful as to what I'm putting on my face. I'm avoiding any skincare that has a fragrance in it. And also makeup, I try to not wear uh, products with fragrance uh, every single day. I try to give some break to my skin. Let me know if you want to see like my current skincare routine. It's very simple, uh, but still let me know if you're just getting started with the journey. Uh, uh, like If you're interested to know what products I am using that are helping my skin, uh, I would definitely do that for you guys. Now, so let's talk about creams. Like when you were pregnant or if you're currently pregnant right now, have you had any cravings at all? For me, I don't think, obviously I want to eat something tastier every time, but I, I don't think I've had like major cravings, uh, it, not even in the first uh, three months. Uh, at one point, I was really into Pani Puri. Like I was making it at home the first few months of my pregnancy like crazy. I've eaten it so much, now Now I have an aversion to it. I just don't want to eat Pani Puri, at least right now. <laughs> Uh, but in the beginning, I was eating a lot, lot. And there are times when I really crave for Maggi. I think sometimes it's okay, but it's usually not recommended to do Maggi and all of that when you're pregnant. But you know, sometimes when you're craving for it, you just gotta do it. I feel like in moderation, it's fine. It is that's what I found online. I know you're supposed to eat healthy, you're supposed to eat nuts all the time. I'm like, I have only 24, not even 24 hours. Like, how long are we usually awake? 12 hours in a day? And in 12 hours, it's impossible to eat that much. My mom will say, oh, drink milk, you know, uh, soak uh, dry fruits overnight and drink the water and eat the dry fruits. I am sick and tired of dry fruits. Before pregnant, I used to love avocados. Right now, I am like forcing myself to eat it. I usually just make a smoothie out of it. With milk, banana and avocado, that's the only way I can drink it now. Before, I used to love it, but now I'm like, dreading to eat avocado but i know it's supposed to be like really good for you and the baby because of the good fats yeah a few foods that i used to love a lot i don't like them anymore i don't know if it's because of pregnancy or if it's because i've just grown out of them but that has definitely happened i don't think i've had like major cravings oh oh uh in i think the fourth or fifth month i was craving the buffalo wild wings a lot a lot and i researched about it you're not supposed to eat that much but I was like eating them every single week. Then my sister was like, okay, you need to hold on. Like those are not the best food that you could eat deep fried and you don't know like what they put in all the sauces. But they're damn tasty, I couldn't help it. But after the quarantine started, I have been cooking, uh, you know, at home a lot. Before, you know, I was going to work, I was not having that much of time to cook a lot at home. But now that I'm working from home, it's easier to cook and make uh, two meals at least a day. I don't usually do breakfast. Uh, we usually drink a smoothie or something but it's been easier to cook so i have been eating at home i haven't eaten out um, all that much ever since the quarantine started and then for foundation i am going to use my lancome longer stick foundation after i did my video of my favorite foundations i have been using this non-stop like it was sitting right on my desk i love this foundation it's very easy to blend out, looks very natural. So what's your status at home like? If you're home, are you getting out of your pajamas at all, putting on like some nice clothes when you start working? And are you doing makeup at all? I am just curious to know. I do apply makeup, a little bit of makeup, mainly I fill in my brows. I do a little bit of powder foundation just to cover my spots and then I add a little bit of blusher. Especially because, you know, I've been testing out a lot of cream blushes lately, so I do apply blush every single day. So what's your status like? Are you doing makeup at all every day? Or, you know, it's like an on and off thing. Sometimes you feel like it and sometimes it's like, ah, I'm just going to be home, I'm not going to go anywhere, why put on makeup and waste time? What's your situation? What's your, you know, thought process about that? But I personally feel like whenever I apply makeup, I feel like I tend to be a lot productive that day because in the very morning I take that time uh, to get ready get ready for the day 
I just feel more productive whenever I get ready properly and apply some makeup. I feel like I get so much more stuff done than I normally would if I just stay in my PJs. I mean, most of the time I'm still staying in my PJs because my jeans don't fit me anymore. And I have few leggings that used to fit me, but now they're a little bit tight around the belly. So I'm mostly staying in my PJs and also borrowing a few clothes from my husband. One thing that has helped me greatly throughout the pregnancy and also after this corona thing started is that staying active, still working out. I mean, I'm obviously not lifting as much as I used to, but I still do work out. I feel like it brings a lot of difference in your mood. So if you feel like you're in a rut at home, not feel like doing anything, start working out. Trust me, it will... Uh, you know kick those endorphins in your brain and make you feel much more happier and active throughout the day try working out it helps and it's also you know good to stay fit stay active burn those extra calories that we might not be burning as much since we are staying home then i'm going to bronze up my skin uh, this is the same foundation the lanco and the shade 435 this is too dark for me right now so i use this to add some warmth to my face and it's been working great then I'm taking my NYX Bond This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Natural. I've already concealed all the darkness that I have with the Too Faced one. Uh, that is uh, closer to my skin tone. Um, I'm mainly using this to brighten uh, underneath my eyes. Then for highlighter, I'm taking my Artist Couture Highlighter in the shade Illuminati. I haven't used this one in such a long time. It's a powder highlight and it is very intense. I want to wear a little bit of this. For blush, I'm taking my uh, Milani uh, liquid blush. This is in the shade Cheeky Coral. My favorite way of applying cream blushes is to use a sponge, but using it dry. Uh, because if it's too damp, I feel like it kind of uh, takes away the coverage that I have from my foundation. So I usually prefer like a dry sponge when applying my cream blushes. Then uh, tapping up any creases and using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I just use the Benefit uh, Brow Setter, set my brows in place. It's, it's like a Gorilla Glow. Once you have it on, I feel like your brows just don't droop down. It's, it's very good. And I'm glad I picked it up when there was like a 50% off because on its own, this product is expensive. Then for lips, I'm taking my NYX Slip These Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Sandalwood. So that completes this video. That's like my big news that I wanted to share with you all. And I'm really glad that I have you guys in my life. Uh, thank you so much for always watching my videos and hitting the like button or, you know, even making a single comment. It helps me a lot. It gives me a lot of confidence and boost to keep making these videos especially when you guys find my videos helpful it just really warms my heart thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and i'm really glad that i could share this news with all of you and i can't wait to share more and i'm really excited for this baby so wish us luck uh, and i really hope you and all of your families are staying safe out there staying home thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to know more about my journey on this uh, I will film more videos about this. If you have any questions about my pregnancy or pregnancy in general, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, not that I'm an expert, but at least I could share my experiences with you. We can be friends, just talk to each other or help each other out uh, in these times. So yeah, that completes this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!